Happy birthday to you, even if it's not your real birthday today, because every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate every day, because this is the first day of the rest of your life. What a wonderful time to be alive. It is June. Welcome to June. How is it June already? June 2021 already. That's crazy, isn't it? Yes, I have been away from these little lives um, since Thursday of last week. So whole, we had a, in the UK, we had a bank holiday weekend. Um, so that was Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday. So we had a bank holiday Monday. And of course, in America, you had Memorial Day on Monday as well. Um, uh, and I had my second vaccination on Friday morning as well. So um, part of the reason I didn't do it on Friday morning was because I was in a bit of a rush trying to get everything ready to head off to Cheltenham to get my vaccine. Um, Saturday morning, can't remember what happened. <laughs> and then Sunday, I don't normally do one anyway, um, but I thought I might, um, and then never got around to it. Uh, and I thought definitely Monday morning, but then it was bank holiday Monday, and I was like, ah, whatever. <laughs> um, plus, um, I had the incident. So you may have seen my videos, my lives on, I think it was Sunday. Maybe it was Monday, I'm not sure, I can't remember now. Um, where I'd lost the postcard from my good friend, Sia Sia. Um, interesting, I called her Sia Sia. Um, her name is actually Patricia, so it should be Shasha, really. Shasha, Shasha. Anyway, um, hello, Sia Sia, by the way, if you're watching this. Happy birthday to you. Oh, by the way, we also have a whole bunch of people to catch up on, of course, because I haven't been doing the birthdays, have I, since um, since Thursday. So, good Lord, have we got a lot of people to, um, to catch up on. <laughs> but... What we are going to talk about today, uh, actually, I actually don't know what we're going to talk about today. Um, it's one of those sort of topics where I haven't really thought about too much. Um, I had some good stuff. No, I think we'll talk about um, tiny habits again um, and uh, and trigger habits because that's what Brendan Bouchard was talking about um, on the video I was watching this morning. That makes a lot of sense. A Blinkist book of the day, by the way, is called Abundance. It's really cool. It's all about sort of new technology um, in the world today and, and how uh, even though we keep thinking that we're going to be limited by something in the future, uh, it ends up we don't actually get limited by something in the future as well. I hear this a lot from uh, people who are doing like new technology and they say, oh, well, there's no point in doing any new technology because everything's already been invented, everything's already been done. But then you think back and go, well, yeah, but YouTube didn't exist um, 20 years ago. <laughs> Facebook didn't exist 20 years ago. Instagram didn't exist 20, 20 years ago. So all of these things are now part of our lives. This Facebook Live, here's, here's a very good example. When I did my first um, Camino de Santiago walk in 2016, um, by the way, if you're interested in coming on a walking retreat, we definitely will be doing it next May in the northwest of Spain. Um, 100 kilometres in seven days, getting away from everything you are normally used to. Um, doing about 10 miles a day. It's not, it's not a huge amount. It's not very difficult. You're doing it over a sort of seven or eight hour period. So really chilled out, relaxed, stopping for coffee and food and looking at the views and stuff on a long way. Having an amazing time for seven days. Well, actually eight days because you, you fly out on the Saturday, fly back on the Sunday. Um, and uh, get to see Santiago, some beautiful coastlines, uh, some lovely beaches, um, <laughs> uh, fantastic sunsets and sunrises. Uh, yes, it's just a fantastic seven days you can have with me and also working on your mindset and your mind, getting out of your, um, your wherever you're stuck at the moment uh, and working out how you can move forward and making a plan for the future as well. So if you're interested in doing that, um, I may do one in october time. time. Um, depending on travel restrictions and uh, and so forth so if you're interested let me know i might do there might be a surprise one for some couple of lucky people if you want to come along with me and uh, test out the walk um anyway <laughs> i'm also going to sketch out some take some more photographs of the places i want to stay at and make sure i stop at all the same places and test out the full route that i want to run with other people um uh, as well so um anyway there you go <laughs> i also want to run it walk it in trainers as well so i've got trainers on at the moment i want to see if i can because normally i have walking boots and i want to see what it's like to do it in trainers rather than walking boots um so that people so that i can say to people it's okay you can do it in trainers that's fine um you don't need walking boots specifically um anyway <laughs> off topic somewhat um no, it's, it's fair. It's fair. Why not Why not just do that? Because one of the things that Brendan Bouchard said that uh, uh, one of the reasons he gets good with his videos is because he does it unscripted. He does it all without notes and so forth. And I've been doing notes on here for a while um, to sort of remind me of the topics I want to cover. Um, and I think I kind of lost my way a little bit doing those things. Um, not least because... And, and somebody also said about putting tags to other people's videos in, in my, my videos as well. Um, and I, I do feel like actually, because <clears throat> they were saying that that reduces your reach when you're doing the lives. Um, although I haven't noticed that, to be honest, since I haven't been doing the tags uh, in the, the URLs in the, the description. I don't seem to have had any more people watching me live, <laughs> particularly. Hello, Jeff from earlier, by the way. I noticed you popping in. I don't know if you're still watching. Um, I will wave at you just in case, though. Um, 
So, uh, but it does diminish my own knowledge really, because it seems like if I'm saying, oh, this person said this, and now this is kind of my interpretation rather than talking about my own life experiences. So, uh, by the way, I had the vaccine on Friday and uh, had no ill effects. So I kind of half expected the bank holiday weekend to be a relaxing and, re and re recuperating weekend um, while I was struggling with uh, the vaccine and never did. Uh, so I have had a relaxing and recuperating weekend. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yes, that was that postcard thing was definitely on Sunday, wasn't it? Uh, because I was working all day yesterday on my diary book of stuff. Um, anyway, so, um, uh, yes, so then if I'm just talking about my own experiences, my own life experiences and um, my own topics as well, so talking about my 15 pillars that from my Freedom Cube, you see my cube, I haven't got my cube on me today. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so the Freedom Cube uh, and the 15 pillars that are on that that I help to use to teach people how to... Uh, find freedom from depression, get off the antidepressants if they want to get off the antidepressants um, and live a life that starts to live a life they love. Um, that would be fantastic. That's what I want to teach everybody. I want to teach everybody how to have a fab fabulous life and enjoy every minute of it. Because um, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to do that, right? Anyway, <laughs> happy birthday to the myriad of people whose real birthdays it is today. Should have said that at the beginning, really, but shouldn't I? Because um, there's a huge list of people watching this now probably coming in and say, why has John tagged me in this video? <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> so... Happy birthday from Friday, all the way back Friday, Friday the 28th, long time ago, wasn't it? So happy birthday anyway from Friday to Carl, Donna, Jeremy, Michelle and Sally. Now, of course, I've got notes for this, obviously, because otherwise I'd never remember all these people at all. Um, hope you all had a lovely weekend, birthday, birthday weekend, birthday bank holiday weekend, in fact. Um, I guess you have it almost every year, don't you? Because if you're having all your birthdays at this time of year, all you, all you people who've got birthdays this time of year, you're always on the bank holiday uh, weekend in, in the UK anyway if you're not from the UK then it doesn't quite work but anyway <clears throat> uh, then from Saturday um, Saturday he says Saturday 29th Beverly Beverly Hepting uh, happy birthday to you Steve Taylor hope your business is going okay Jeff Atwell um, oh just three from Saturday happy birthday to all three of you uh, from Saturday and from Sunday uh, Elaine Wong who I think I met I can't remember where I met you Elaine um, that's really confusing me because I have a feeling I know you from an online game or something it's a bit of a weird connection i know but um is that true <laughs> let me know in the comments below that'd be fantastic um happy birthday uh, justin uh, justin bell uh, edward john as well i uh, hope you're doing well and karen wood um hope you're doing well too happy you had a lovely happy birthday on sunday oh and of course dan harrison um who teaches people how to be um heart-centered entrepreneurs i suppose is probably the best way of putting it he has actually got a better tagline than that but i can't remember what it is anyway happy birthday to you dan who lives in canada uh, near vancouver area um we have a lot of things in common which is kind of cool um <laughs> um i was reading his life story and i was like oh my god <laughs> that's my life story basically but just based in canada instead of based in england it's quite funny um anyway uh oh thank you very much is that blondine going on there was it happy birthday to you too um and well thanks for watching thanks for watching Happy birthday to, to, uh, from Sunday, no, Monday, Monday, Becky Adams, uh, Maggie Craig, Mike Long, Mr. Guitar Man, well, it's not, well, I suppose he does play the guitar, actually, thinking about it, um, I haven't heard you play the guitar, actually, Mike, do you? I presume you must play, um, I'm sure I must have heard you at some point, he deals in the guitars, though, <laughs> that's quite cool, isn't it, um, uh, anyway, and then for today, happy birthday for today, um, to Joe Rose, um, Steve, Steve, um, Io, Io Rio, Io Rio, Io Rio, there you go, cool. Uh, Brenda, uh, Karen Lee Turner, um, Claire Sherman, uh, Jonathan Wood Freeman, who I went to school with but didn't really know at school, uh, and you, of course, Lucy, your sister, so much better, um, who was, I think, in my year, actually. And then, of course, Pippa Latimer Harris. Happy birthday, Pippa. It's your birthday today. My ex-girlfriend from mid-90s. <laughs> um, uh, nice to see your shop kind of growing in popularity as well um hope everything is going well with you and debbie and uh and notice it's nice to see um uh oh i forget her name debbie's daughter <laughs> how could i not remember her name that's weird <laughs> uh in new zealand anyway um i just got a complete blank on that it'll pop into my head in a minute um and hope mum may is doing well as well um and dad of course as well and john john harris as well uh gosh the whole family anyway hope you're all doing very well happy birthday to all of you Right, that's my 10 minutes, basically. Um, tiny little habits is all the only thing I, think I was going to talk on today, touch on today, just before I wrap up. Um, and trigger movements as well. So um, the way to build up, and we've talked about building up self-confidence in the past as well, um, is um, just to do little things. Set yourself a little task, 
achieve the little sunny task, celebrate the fact that you achieved the task, set yourself another mini task, <laughs> achieve the task, celebrate the task, <laughs> achieve, and, you know, new task, achieve task, celebrate uh, achievement. Um, to prove to yourself that you can do things, prove to yourself you can keep your word and move yourself forward. Um, it's really critical to anything you want to do to move yourself forward and build yourself confidence uh, and also um, prove to yourself that you can do things. So this is an area I am currently struggling in, <laughs> um, getting myself out there and um, asking people for money and um, offering to help people. Um, somebody asked me this morning, uh, why isn't your coaching business flying? <laughs> because you know so much, you could help so many people. And mostly it's, uh, I can't find people who are willing to pay me to help them. Um, uh, and secondly, uh, I'm, I feel like I'm, I, I, I'm less confident about being able to help people than I should be. Um, and that's a ridiculous situation because I know I can because I've helped myself and I've helped other people. Um, I just haven't had people to pay me to help them as yet. Um, and so, and the only way I'm going to get over that, uh, which is what I'm saying, is take yourself a task, <laughs> meet it and so forth, is to ask somebody to pay me, help them, prove to myself that I can help them, and then build on that all the way through and do that over and over and over again. But of course, as you can probably imagine, you've got to find lots of people who you can help, who you can charge. <laughs> and the more you do that um, without charging, the more it uh, hurts your soul. <laughs> and, and that's what I've been doing for many, many years. Not so much the, the not charging bit, but... Um, struggling to pay bills and so forth becomes a bit of an issue um, uh, when you're not charging people for your services and for your help. Um, so yeah, it becomes a self, it becomes a circular motion really uh, of, of problems, which I need to break that cycle somehow. Um, so that's uh, well, something I'm supposed to be working on today, but I still got to do some diary book stuff. Ugh, I do hate that program. <laughs> I would love to get it off my off my table. Uh, very close to doing that though, which is good. Um, and then the other thing is trigger movements. Throughout your day, have trigger movements. So you know I've got an alarm on my phone that comes off sometimes when I'm doing this uh, that reminds me to um, drink water, um, take a deep breath, do my five exercises, which I completely forgot to do today, didn't I? What's the one thing again you've done today? Let out. Five in through your nose. Hand on your heart. Light your candles. And then light your candles. Little mini breathing exercise that I teach people. Happy birthday to all of those people on the list. <laughs> Happy birthday to all of you. Joe, Steve, Brenda, Karen, Claire, Jonathan, Pippa, Becky, Maggie, Mike, Dan, Elaine, Justin, Edward, Karen, Beverly, Steve, Jeff, Kate, uh, Carl, not Kate, um, Donna, Jeremy, Michelle, and I hope, did I say I mentioned Michelle? I hope I mentioned Michelle and Sally. Um, seems like such a long time ago. Happy birthday to all of you people. Do that breathing exercise on a regular basis throughout the day. Um, why not? It gives you a chance to sort of, it's a mini meditation. I talked about meditation a couple of days ago. Um, and that's just a little mini meditation. Um, just gets you focused on where you are right now, what you want to do next, and gets oxygen into your, into your brain so you can think more clearly, do it on a regular basis. So I have a phone, an alarm on my phone that triggers that. But another thing you can do, which Brendan always talks about as well, is when you go through a door frame, is to have um, like a mantra every time you walk through a door frame. That could be you set every single door frame with a particular mantra, like, yay! <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to this meeting or whatever. But then you could also have a particular mantra for the doorway as you go into your house, for example, if you want to have a positive feeling when you meet your, your partner. Um, uh, uh, you, could, you could do it around your bedroom door so that when you leave your bedroom door, you, you go, I'm going to have energy and vitality and I'm going to enjoy the day ahead. You know, that's something, something like that. <coughs> you can use it when you go to the toilet. That's a very good triggered movement because we all have to go to the toilet on a regular basis. What do you do after you go to the toilet and afterwards, what do you do? Uh, I know one person who does like 10 press-ups every time. Just goes to the toilet, finishes all that off and then does 10 press-ups uh, in the corridor <laughs> outside the bathroom before he goes on. Um, I guess I don't know how he does that at work, but maybe he goes back to his desk first and then does the 10 press-ups. But of course, these things all become, because we all do, like when you do your teeth, you, you brush your teeth, you go, you have a shower every day, if you have a shower every day. Um, uh, but you brush your teeth every day, at least twice a day anyway. So what's your trigger movement? So you brush your teeth and then what? What do you do after that? What do you do while you're doing it? While you're washing your teeth? You can, these are all things that can be trigger movements in your, in your mindset. Okay, I can't believe I've gone up to 15 minutes. Didn't really mean to do that. Happy birthday to everybody. Have a lovely Monday, Tuesday. Um, love to you all. Take care and I will see you hopefully tomorrow morning. Bye for now. Take care.